Zigzag is gone, Jesus. Runway is under about 20 feet of water. I can make out all the runway parking. Abu Kuwait is gone. Abu Kuwait is gone. Yep. Cherokee is gone. On the water. Fire station is gone. Fire station is gone. Jesus. That's the water hitting my front front room window, which is extremely high. And this is the water by my back door and glass that's came from the canal. That's that height has to be about 20 to 25 feet above sea level. So this is what I'm facing at the moment. And I have neighbors that are in a far worse position than me and my family. Tonight, the Bahamas unrecognizable. The first images from above Abaco show an island paradise turned paradise lost. Absolute devastation. And it really is heartbreaking. Just from the air, it looks completely leveled. Debris fields for miles, houses surrounded by water, and boats littered across the island. Abaco is gone. With airports underwater, many relief efforts are now on standby. The island blasted with hurricane force winds for nearly two days straight. And on neighboring Grand Bahama, Record floods came fast. Satellite pictures show the island nearly swallowed up by the sea. A combination of storm surge and feet of rain as Dory installed over the island. When this water is pouring in your house, and you, you, it's so surreal. Local journalist Tim Aylin and his family rushed out of their home, wading through chest-high water to survive. And it was about a foot deep in about 30 seconds. And then after about two minutes, uh, it was like up to our knees and it just kept coming in. Dorian's early numbers out of these two islands alone are staggering. 45% of the homes believed to be damaged or destroyed. More than 60,000 people will now need food and access to clean drinking water. With the weather finally clearing up today's mission, search and rescue. All day long, a team of military helicopters have been making runs to Abaco Island, picking up the injured and bringing them back here to Nassau to receive much needed medical treatment. We have never experienced something like this in our life. Adrian Archer treated some of the very first people to arrive. I can tell this is hitting you. This, this is my country. This is my people. Tonight, Dorian's responsible for at least five deaths and dozens of injuries. As many on the islands remain cut off, still trapped, and left waiting for help to come. And tonight, I'm told those rescue efforts will be ongoing well into the night. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister will give a full update on the damage come later today. Yeah, that's the old park. I had a bunch of good times. 
машиной, это та юлька, на которую... tutto qua come no
Guys, I just wanted to say if you're watching this video and you feel like there's something missing in your life, if you feel like you're always striving or seeking or searching for something that you just cannot find, and no matter what you achieve in life, it's just never enough, then you guys are not alone. We both felt the same before we put our faith in a real living saviour, Jesus Christ. And I can tell you now that those feelings are gone. I am content and at peace, and you can have the same if you come to Jesus. Yeah, and people, like all of us, all of us have a journey. All of us have a journey to, to, to finding out. Well, for me personally, I found the Lord Jesus through a journey of, of pain, upset, searching, saying that I don't know what's happening anymore. I don't know why we're here. And I was really searching for the truth and I found the Lord Jesus and I found that I, you know, I found his peace and contentment. But I know that each of us have their own different journey of looking. And you could be looking at spirituality. You could be looking at new age. You could be looking at different religions. But it's our job really to point you to the Lord Jesus and say, look, seriously, you've got to come to the Lord Jesus. So we've